where trash ends up? We put it in a trash can, but where does it go after that? A landfill? A recycling center, maybe? But not all trash makes it into a trash can. A lot of it ends up in the ocean. Some of it's dumped directly in the ocean by ships, sometimes illegally. But most of it actually starts its journey on land, sometimes far inland, from sewer to stream to river, and eventually to an ocean. And once it hits an ocean, it keeps going. If it hits the Pacific Ocean, it might end up in the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, a colossal whirlpool of sorts where trash from all over congregates. Or it could end up on some remote island. Try to find a beach where nobody's been before, and chances are trash has beaten you there. By far the biggest category of trash is plastic. Plastic is lightweight and indestructible, two qualities that make it the perfect container. But once it's used, plastic becomes a lightweight, indestructible problem. Cigarette filters are also a common source of marine litter. You may not think they amount to much, but cigarette filters are one of the most common items found in beach cleanups. Marine litter also kills animals. Seabirds are programmed to eat small things that are bright and colorful and feed them to their chicks. Sea turtles can't tell the difference between their favorite snack, jellyfish, and plastic bags. And fishing gear, such as nets and lines, continues to catch and kill long after it's been lost or thrown away. Invasive or alien species have been known to catch a free ride on floating litter, and this can wreak havoc on native wildlife. There are ways we can help. Dispose of waste properly, recycle more, and switch to reusable containers where possible. And participate in beach cleanups. Industry can do a better job designing products that use less material and don't just get used once. And the next time you're given the choice between paper or plastic, say neither. We can all help solve the trash problem by making less of it.